Tony Blair's 1997 landslide, Labour managing to restore public trust in the party's ability to manage the country's finances. Almost three decades on, Sir Keir Starmer faces a similar challenge, with reports he could lock Labour in to the Tories' short-term spending plans at the next election. The Shadow Chancellor refusing to say if she would outspend her opposite number. I don't think we should be fixated with um, any particular current forecasts because they'll be updated two more times uh, before we get to the next election. But there's no contradiction between being fiscally responsible and wanting to support public services. In fact, I just you can't support public services unless you put uh, fiscal economic responsibility at the heart of everything you do. But as they stand, those spending plans set by this man, the Chancellor, are tight. So much so that faced with stubborn inflation and low growth, current Treasury ministers are sounding cold on the prospect of tax cuts anytime soon. I'm a Conservative, so of course I want our taxes to be as low as possible, but I also believe in uh, fiscal responsibility. And so coming out of the, of the pandemic, when we spent £400 billion supporting people through furlough, we have to now um, uh, pay back that money and, and act responsibly with those debts. <laughs> Plans for how to run this place take up much of a party's manifesto, but amid a cost of living crisis, the numbers will matter more than ever at the coming election. Rachel Reeves is promising a steady ship here at the Treasury if Labour gets into power, but that promise of cautious spending worries others in the party who want to see more money going into public services and more broadly a bolder offer to the country. A recent scaling back on the timings around a green investment package was seen as evidence of this tension. One economist says current Labour plans to raise money are relatively modest. I think at the moment it's fair to say that if you tot up all the existing commitments from Labour on tax, it's in the single-digit uh, billions. If they stick to that sort of envelope, that does make it harder uh, to deal with um, challenges like social care, like the NHS, um, like improving childcare. Dubbed the Iron Chancellor, the challenges for Labour now are arguably bigger than those faced by Gordon Brown in the 90s. Whether the party has the metal to address them may soon become clear. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.